Good afternoon. In this module, we'll be covering on some more features of the Moodle mobile app. Before you begin, please make sure you're connected to the internet via mobile data or Wi-Fi. Then go into your menu and start the Moodle mobile app. If you have followed the instructions from module one perfectly, you will land up on the home page. This shows you the list of the courses you are enrolled in. If there are no courses here, then don't worry. The Moodle mobile app allows you to search courses you are offered and choose one to be enrolled in. To do so, tap on the search button in the upper right corner and search for a course you want to take. Say, I want to do a research course. I will type in research. And then tap my finger on search. The Moodle app will then provide every course offered with the research in its name. Now tap on the course you desire. If you have found the correct course where you want to enroll yourself, then tap on the enroll button. And then tap on OK. Now this will open up a lot of avenues for you. Now you'll be able to access all the course content such as videos, books and a lot more. Now the Moodle app allows you to download your course content so you can use it whenever you desire without the need of internet. To do so, tap your finger on the content tab which is under your course name. It will open up a list of the content provided in this particular course. You will see a small cloud next to the name of the content. If you tap your finger on that cloud, the app will then start downloading that section. Tap on OK and now wait for it to finish downloading. Tap on the name of the section to access its content. This is a really useful feature of the Moodle mobile app as it allows you to download the course content whenever you have internet connection and then use it when you don't. If you like to download individual books or text from a particular section, then you can tap on the section name and then tap on the cloud next to the thing you would like to download. Now tap on OK and let it finish. Now you can simply tap on the content and use it whenever you want. That is all for this module. In the next module, we'll be looking deeper into some of the more features offered by the Moodle mobile app. Thank you.